Robert Hello. Flores. I'm good morning. Hottie. Good morning. MLB Central presented by Hyundai. How are we doing? Doing all right. I don't know why they put the fat guy on the outside. And this guy's got the <laughs> you buttoned your shirt. Why? He said. I yeah, I just I don't really have like the the chest hair or the I don't know. Well, or see, the tan. I, I think I not know. having the chest hair is a plus. Okay. But you do get the sense when you're watching and you see someone in a coat and a buttoned-up shirt, you're like, why is he missing a tie? Yeah. That is always that is the dilemma we face. Yeah, but you it's not a dilemma because we like being a little casual. He doesn't I really have don't. chest hair, right? Right. I've got a tremendous amount of back hair, but not chest Interesting. hair. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Morning. morning. A little bit of housekeeping here. Uh, let's give you the updated results. My thirsty, please. It didn't work. Yeah, Darn you were it. Very it did thirsty. not work. I think I would have won it had you not been so thirsty. <laughs> Vote for me and I'll follow you on Twitter and all those ham and eggers out there. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work, though. <laughs> um, Robert's Stay Ready team is well documented, right? Yeah. You don't have to get ready. If you stay ready. If you stay ready. J.P. Crawford is on it. That's right. Amir Garrett is on <laughs> it. Well, it seems like since spring training. I, I think, look, they win the division last year. They're, they're you're fighting, you're battling, you're trying to get it going, but for some reason something happens every day. To a couple of his previous starts. Uh, I thought his secondary pitch. Yeah, I, I just think he has the potential to be the most unique baseball player we've ever seen. Whoa. It's like he was built in a lab, and I think he had, I think right now, He's the mo one of the most unique athletes in all of sports. You got a cool name. Oh, yeah. Mm. Named after Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill. Yeah. So you like him? I do. I, I, I like He's toolsy. The, he's toolsy. He's very toolsy. The speed toolsy. is crazy. The yeah. speed at his size is crazy. It, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. it's unbelievable. fun. It's different, right? Like, and how much of, of an Aaron Judge? He did those diving stops and yeah. obviously able to get up as quick as he can. That's probably the hardest part. Six foot seven, be able to get up, react, get a quick. But that arm. Young player, and we saw him briefly a few, few moments ago, Adley Rutschman going deep again. Yeah, he's been pretty good. Provided this team and this pitching staff with kind of a nice boost. They're getting some more on the show before, but I think this is the first time he's been in. This version of Kevin Gosman was pretty much perfection. And boy, did he return last night north of the border. Boston didn't have much of an answer for him at all. And now they get Ross Stripling feeling pretty good because the guy they get to hand the ball to has a 2-3-4 ERA this season. Michael Waka has been awesome. You can say that again. An AL East battle tonight. They're both in the postseason. If the season ended today, Add in the Rays because they're in two. They're at home hosting the Brewers, dealing with Brandon Woodruff, looking for his sixth win of the year, 17 Eastern from St. Petersburg tonight. And the Astros had a nice little off day after splitting a four-game set with the Yankees. They didn't even have to switch hotels. Just enjoy the day off in the city and change the Uber destination to City Field for Amber Valdez and Carlos Carrasco, who has eight wins on the season, including a perfect 5-0 mark at City Field this year. 7-10 from Flushing tonight.